for Plunkett, Hoggard for Mahmood, and for India, the local hero uh, Sri Santh back in the side for Munaf Patel. Andrew Flintoff uh, won the toss for England and no hesitation in batting first. Absolute beauty. How do you play that? That is an absolutely stunning delivery. More swing, just strain onto Strauss's leg stump and the outfield's quick and Andrew Strauss picks up his first boundary. That could be close, very close indeed. He's got him. So, Strauss is gone. Another breakthrough provided by Irfan Patan. He's gone a little disappointed. Did he nick it? If he didn't, he was gone. Well, Strauss was looking back as if he thought he got an inside edge. There was two noises. Sometimes it's the bat clipping the pad. Sometimes it's the bat clipping the ball. Which was it? That's out for me. It was the bat just hitting the pad. A very, very good decision. And Patan has got his man again three times out of four. Very disappointed, Andrew Strauss. He's gone for seven. England, ten for one. That's a great delivery. Great shot. Full delivery, swinging in. And Matt Price put it away for four. off he's not waiting for the decision well that was terrible for Matt Pryor to be honest I have no other way of putting it he started to walk off and then he waited for Rudy Kurtzen to give him out he turned back but he definitely hit it there was a noise it was a good comeback from Sri Sant there's the edge there's the noise Dhoni does the rest and Sri Sant has his first wicket on his home ground in one day international cricket well, another big wicket. So England struggling now. Prior gone for 14, and they're 27 for two. <laughs> but just over Sewag at mid wicket. Confident stroke from Peterson, but he didn't quite get hold of it, and his heart would have been in his mouth for a moment. Driven again, this time through the offside. And it's a fast outfield. You beat this infield, and you get value for your strokes. It's nicely played. There isn't much of a, a gap there. Well, it was a poor delivery. Not exactly where Kevin Peterson intended, it was a top edge, but it's carried a long, long way. A good 10 or 15 yards over the rope, almost directly behind the wicketkeeper. And the first maximum of the innings. Not a good start for McGarth, who talks about the offside field, and he offers up a leg stump half volley. Will he get round? No, it's a short boundary down there at third man. It's a nice shot, that will go for four, will it? Oh, you're a very good player. Catch it. That might go for four. Oh, it's a very good sweep indeed. They're not letting these spinners settle at all. Very good batting. Kevin Peterson helps himself to 50. That is beautifully done. That may find the fence, and it does. And there's the leading edge. What a catch. What an athlete Yuvraj Singh is. An incredible catch. His team go around, they're up, the crowd's up, 
because they've just seen a remarkable court and bold. Incredible is correct. It's unbelievable. Just take a look at this. You'll want to watch it all your life. The leading edge is he's nowhere in the frame. He's in the air at that stage. Gets his fingers under it, turns around, makes sure that he doesn't spill it on the drop when his elbow hits the ground. And what a big, big breakthrough. That's athleticism for you. 36 of 48 for Collingwood, England 117 for three. He's connected with the sweep and has he bisected the field? He has. Beautifully done. What placement. And again, but this time he's gone a lot straighter and he's got six for it. He's picked it up from outside the off stump. So Peterson has decided, power play or not, I'm going to put Sevag under the sword now. Peterson, the man, doing most of the damage. And he's on a roll. And there's Flintoff. Didn't quite catch it. But there's only two men allowed out, remember, now, in this next set of five overs. Catch it! Again, picked it up from outside, the off stump man getting underneath it, and it has worked. This was a situation where India were taking a chance. Peterson, the well-settled batsman, is always going to take the bowlers on. And what a big breakthrough for India. Well, it's a poor stroke because of the bounce, We've seen bounce in Harbhajan's first four overs and just watch this he's trying to sweep but ends up playing the ball about hip high waist high and just far too much bounce for the stroke a simple catch for Yovraj Raul Dravid's best bowler has got the breakthrough end of a very good innings it must be said from Kevin Peterson off his sick bed from Goa 77 off just 82 balls England 153 for four The plough players work for Dravid. Both England's danger players have gone. First Peterson, now Flintoff. And the spinners are doing it. The stern and bounce for all the spinners and two of the most economical bowlers today. Arbhajan Singh first struck and now Yuvraj Singh. What a time he's having. Another very good catch by the skipper Dravid. Hit firmly. A low to drop it, good diving catch and celebrations all around. The Indian team have right back into this match. First Peterson, now it's split off for 12, 155 for 5. Beautifully played from Solanke. Nicely played again. Just a bit of width offered by Yuvraj and Vikram Solanke picking the gap at extra cover for the second time in the over. Oi. Oh, as he bowled him, the bail's off, everybody thinks he's out. Pola is having a little bit of a job to celebrate. Vikram Solanke takes the long walk back and again the bowling change works for India. Dravid has handled this situation extremely well. Well, it's a beautiful piece of bowling, a flighted off-spinner outside off-stump and the classic off-spinner's dismissal, spinning back between bat and pad and just clipping the top of off-stump. Vikram Solanke will be disappointed. You never like to see the ball go between bat and pad, but credit to Ramesh Pawar. Beautifully flighted spinning delivery and good enough for Solanke. He's gone for 12, 172 for six, England. That's a nice shot. That'll go for four. Lovely shot. That'll be his first boundary. In the air. And gone. Seaway. Another part-time spinner does the job. It just looked like in slow motion. I couldn't believe he's just gone down the pitch and hit it softly back to the great Ferru. And he's in the game. He's got a wicket. Soft dismissal. Splited straight into the hands. He must be looking for a single. 
could be the leading edge straight into the hands of Sevak. Blackwell walks back. Cotton ball Sevak for six. England 197 for seven. forward this could be close and he has given him didn't have a close shot in the last ball of the previous over but here deceived in the air should have been forward but stuck to the crease and he's gone well, my first impression is that he's a bit unlucky here gareth batty see whether the ball hits him outside the line certainly pitched outside the line and he does get across and I think that's a bad decision. It's not only hit him fractionally outside the line, it's also hit him above the knee roll and probably would have gone on to go over the stump. So I think Gareth Batty hard done to. But India's part-time spinners have done the business again. England 203 for eight. A man in the deep can't cut it off. Irfan Patan, the fielder. Karen Jones has played a beauty. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> They'll get the run that they were looking for in the end. They'll get a second as well. Don't know whether it uh, came from Dravid, the captain, or Agarka himself, but we think the third umpire has been asked for. ABJ Prakash, the third umpire. Well, he makes his decision in quick flash time. And the red light is flashed. The Indians have picked up another wicket. This could be gone as well. Yes! Indians have done remarkably well. They lost the toss. England decided to bat where conditions were extremely good. They bowled well, the spinners especially were outstanding, they fielded pretty well, and eventually another run out. Yeah, another run out to finish the innings, a disastrous run out really. Batsman not even in the picture, and not for the first time this series, England failing to bat through their 50 overs. They're eight balls short in this instance, not once in this series have they completed their 50 overs. Say wag. Standing still, clipping a leg stump ball from Anderson, sweetly through mid-wicket. This was a slower ball from Anderson, and it was picked early and well by Verenda Sewag. There is a man at fine leg, and it's gone too fine, though. James Anderson doesn't even really try to get round. Hook well and hook hard by Rahul Dravid. Short. Dravid quickly onto it. No great pace in the bouncer from Anderson. 29 for none. And again. Hoggard not learning his lesson. I think that might have been another slower ball. It was just slapped unceremoniously over mid on for four. 42 for none. He's a lovely player on the leg side, Rahul Dravid, and he is another example. Short, and there is a man out there, and Rahul Dravid, correction, Verinda Sewag has found him with a short delivery, and he's hit a long hop straight down Vikram Solanke's open hands. Again, the change working. The spinners have been getting a lot of wickets, but this one on the lucky side. He won't hit it out of the park. Just finding the two end of the bat, and also the man in the deep, Vikram Solanke, a straightforward catch to him. And the much-needed breakthrough for England have come their way. We're going to save out the man dismissed for 26. And they are 54 for one. There you go. He doesn't need to pinch it. If he can play shots like this, he will be a threat to any bowling attack. Great shot. Oh! 
Well, I'm glad he got bad on that because, and it's gone for four. It's a marvellous shot. But that was off off stump. He's such a class player. If he missed that, he was dead. But he, unfortunately for England, that's it right in the middle of the bat. Oh, beautiful batting. Really hard to hit those. Amazing. Just to get bat on it. Great shot. And he's done it again. Delicate. Is it going to go for four? It is. Magnificent. He didn't have to really come out of the crease this time, Rahul Dravid. Fifty for Rahul Dravid. A well-made, responsible fifty. Opening the innings when the team is struggling, and that's his 69th one-day fifty for Dravid. That has gone for four. That is brilliantly placed by Rahul Dravid. That's gone for four. For a moment, his heart must have skipped a beat because that wasn't too far away from that fielder at mid-wicket. And what does Dravid do? He goes straight down the pitch and says, thank you very much. You take the power play, and I'll take the boundaries. Four more. Went off into the attack, and he's got his man. That is an odd shot, to say the least. What happened there? Well, Flint off the man yet again. Takes the responsibility. I'm not even sure it was a slower ball. Just a regulation delivery. Dravid threw the shot too early. And a very, very simple catch to Hoggard. The Indian captain has gone. He played really well. Sixty-five of seventy-three deliveries, Raul Dravid, India, 130 for two. In the air, and it's through. Well, that is perilously close to wicket number three for India. That may run away for four as it will. Didn't quite get it from the meat of the blade. But he'll take it. Goes for a big one this time. Over to long off and that's gone for the maximum it went almost flat <laughs> Patan has had a rush of blood he's not the first batsman to have a rush of blood today and Blackwell has struck his second wicket and England have the wicket that they need the last over of the second power play Flintoff has induced, or rather enticed, the Indian batsman once again. Patan was too eager to go for another one over the top. And uh, that has costed his wicket. Well bowled by Blackwell. Irfan Patan walks back for 46. India 152 for three. Yes! Great catch! James Anderson at cover, it was a slow ball from Flintoff, and Keith, searching for another boundary in the power play, has brought his downfall. Yet another low score for Mohamed Khaif. Struggling for runs this time, goes the aerial route, only to find the hands of uh, James Anderson. What a catch, stretching high in the air, snapped a Brilliant catch. Mohamed Kaif must be disappointed. 
Walks back for five. India 152 for four. Pulled away. I think it'll go for four. The man is just in front of square and Yovraj swivel round and just hit that behind. He's off the mark. Hit hard. Was that a chance? Back to Ian Blackwell. It'd be interesting to see the action replay. Yes, it was a drop chance. That will go for four. See, he's such a senior player now on this team. He's really standing tall and enjoying the responsibility. What a shot. What a shot. Big Nick, and it might go for four to rub salt into the wound. Oh, it was a hard one. It was dipping hard and wide to the left. And Matty Pryor, you had your chance, son. Is that is that the turning point? Slow one. And now he's starting to smash it everywhere. Say goodnight, England, for me. They're not going to win from here. A little bit of wit is all he requires. Yuvraj Singh stamps his authority, continuing his splendid form. Again, hitting straight down the ground. I think the bowler's done extremely well to get a hand to it. it. Looks like he is in some kind of trouble. Well, he's a brave man, Matthew Hoggard. He doesn't stay down unless it's hurt. He's gone for the big one. Midon is getting underneath it. So take it quite comfortably. Ian Blackwell it is. And Suresh Raina getting complacent. Maybe just a touch overconfident, thinking he would easily win this one. Makes a big mistake and he's lost his wicket. Well, the arrogance of youth. The crowd are up because they want Dhoni out in the middle. And this is the reason why he might be out there. Suresh Rayner trying to finish with a flourish. Arrogance of youth trying to take it on. Ian Blackwell gets underneath it. James Anderson gets his first wicket. He played well, Suresh Rayner. A boy for the future. He's gone for 21 off 38 deliveries. India 224 for five. Gone. Yes, another wicket. Wicket number two when this over. James Anderson getting the natural angle, and Yuvraj Singh likes the offside, but playing away from the board against the outside edge. They've lost another one, India. Just a hint of reverse swing from James Anderson going across the left-hander. Yuvraj Singh went after it, and Anderson now has two wickets. Nine overs without a wicket, two and three balls for James Anderson. Yuvraj Singh misses out on a 50. He's gone for 48. India, 224 for six. He's found the gap, and he doesn't bother running. Rockets to the fence. And they reach it with a single. So India register yet another victory in the seven match series. And Rahul Dravid and his boys have got to 4 0 in the seven match series. They will have plenty to celebrate this evening.